Well, hello there, everyone. It is a very special day here in Central Florida. And um, I've been talking with my cohort here, and she hasn't said anything about how special it is, but I'm going to give her one more opportunity. My name is Eva Marie Everson. I'm the director of Florida Christian Writers Conference, <laughs> and my favorite sidekick is here with me today, and her name is... Bertha Eva. <laughs> Just dawned on me. Um, my name's Taryn Suters, and today is Eva's birthday. Yes, and it's a very special birthday because I am like double digits, like... She's one 40. digit twice. <laughs> yes. And I'll let you guess. Is it 22? <laughs> that was going to be my first guess for sure. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. I'm sure it would be. Thank the good Lord for these lightings that we can buy that like <laughs> everything out. I'm sure when, awesome. when people see me in person, they go, wow, I didn't know you were so old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm 66 years old today. So, you yeah. know. Just inching closer to 70 with every breath. 65, you're great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yesterday I was 65. Today I'm 66. So, you know, and actually um, don't feel a bit different. How about that? <laughs> no, not a bit of difference from yesterday. Strange. That's, that's good. Yeah. But we're not, we're not here to celebrate my birthday. Although we could be. <laughs> okay. I do accept gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, but we are here to talk about the Florida Conference, which, Taryn, we are almost in September, like really close to September, which of course means that we have a massive storm coming. Not not massive, we do. I should say that because you know, we had Ian just a couple of years ago. Uh, we have a storm coming toward us. So of course it's September, right? Right. Because right. yeah. that's we roll down here. That that is exactly the way we roll. And so we are expecting a lot of rain this week. This is one of the reasons why we decided not to have the conference in September, although that was an option, but rather to have it in October. We moved it, ironically, in uh, 2019. We had our conference in February of 2019 and then made a decision that we were going to move it from the February, March um, area or, well, I guess you, whatever, yeah, time, time. time zone, timeline, whatever. Anyway, moving it from February, March and and to the fall of the year and so i was talking to lake yell and i you know was looking at september dates and i clearly remember uh the woman from lake yell saying um you might want to rethink september because that is really when we have a lot of storms and yeah she's right here we are almost at september and uh, by the end of this week we should be nice and drenched uh so we moved it to toward the middle to the middle to the end of october and um, and so we are now at about a month and a half away from the conference. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. So we want to talk about a couple of things today. The first thing we want to talk about is the opportunity that you have as conferees for mentoring. Right. Yeah. And we've definitely mentioned this in the past, but we want to remind you guys because we've had uh, people who have filled up their time slots and are no longer available. Right. So do not, we want to encourage you not to wait because if you're like, oh, I'll, I'll just wait till we get a little closer and then I'll sign up. The person that you might want to mentor with might already be full. Yeah. So yeah. To give yeah. You yeah. So you definitely want to like, and be sure to read, like go to the website. It's uh, word-weavers.com forward slash Florida events. And then you've got a lot of drop down menus, but but you'll be able to figure out this is, you know, uh, brainstorming with the experts or working with our mentors or something to that effect. Uh, we, we changed the title of it this year. Yes. With our experts, we've combined the two. <laughs> yes. So, so, um, you know, re read what it is that they are experts in. And, uh, and you may find that there is someone like you were thinking, oh, I want to meet with, you know, this person, but the more you read, the more you find that there is someone who, may actually be a better fit for you. So be sure to read everyone. And, and then you are going to email Jean Wyland and she is going to help you get that set up. She's in charge of the whole thing. Yay, Jean. Yes. And like, and for instance, um, one of the reasons you want to read these carefully, like Blythe Daniel, who is, you know, she runs the Blythe Daniel agency. Um, she has a note on hers that her deadline for submissions is mm -hmm. September 
first. That's yeah. Yeah. You know, that's like in like what three days or something. Yeah. yeah. So you don't yeah. want to come on here, you know, September 8th and go, Oh, I'm going to sign up for Blythe. Well, you probably aren't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't realize you were serious about that. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah so we've yeah. had a few people that have already filled up. So definitely uh, don't, don't wait too much longer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the next thing we want to talk about, we're going to start going over like who our faculty is, and we're going to look at the publishers and um, we're going to, and then later on, we're going to look at the agents and then we're going to look at the freelancers, et cetera. So I, I want us to talk about each, oh, I, you know what? I, I cannot minimize. I was going to minimize because I was going to look at my cheat sheet. So, I, but I can't do that. I do know who's first on the list because she's always first on the list because that's, that's just right. the way, that's just the way she rolls. Right. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. It's, yeah. it's Miss Michelle Medlock Adams. Yeah. So tell me what is Michelle looking for versus what is she not looking for? Okay. So Michelle is, uh, she is with Bear and Wren. Wren and Bear. And, um, sorry. Wren and Bear. Grin and Bear. I always confuse them. Yeah. There's it's like Grin and, and Bear it. I mean, if you think about that, like oh, I've got a Grin and Bear it, you know, so Grin oh, and Bear. Yeah, Grin and Bear. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. So she's with Grin and Bear, which is the children's picture book imprint of Endgame Press. Yeah. And I actually don't have what she is and is not looking for because. Okay. <laughs> she didn't give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will tell Just you, she's not looking for I mean she's she's not going to be looking for what her imprint doesn't publish so don't send her devotions because yes you know, yes yes book imprint so yeah. um I will uh I'll have to reach out to Michelle and be like quit holding out on me yeah what are you <laughs> hey girl what are you looking for <laughs> hey you know what and I I apologize my phone just went off because I'm getting lots of phone phone calls today so you know uh, oh yeah actually I that was my that was my my oldest friend in the world she she and I have been friends literally since we were babies. Our parents lived across the street from each other. And so we have photos up that go all the way back, actually, to my mother holding her as a baby while I am still in her in my mother's womb. So that's how far back we go. Uh, but anyway, that was her. I apologize for that. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you, you're not going to want to sit down with Michelle to talk about anything but children's books. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. And um, she's also teaching our continuing class for children that is correct i missed it (laughs) wait what'd you just say i said did you already say that and i missed it i did not i did not say that so i am i'm very glad that you did um mention that yes yes Um, she's 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 written a she's written a a children's book or two and in fact in fact if you don't know this already michelle and i wrote a book that was released last year for children and it has won so many awards including the ECPA gold medal, uh, the, yes, the ECPA gold medallion. See if I just turn just slightly like this. You see that little mouse? There it I is. Do. Look at very that. Proud. Very, very proud of that. And and because our, we have a little a mouse that's in the book, see? So mouse okay, is that to me. Yeah, that's my, my little mouselet. So, okay, who's next? Uh, next is Dawn Anderson. Yay, Dawn is coming. Yes, Dawn Anderson is with um, Our Daily Bread Publishing. And this is the book publishing arm of the Our Daily Bread Ministries. So they have uh, their own book publishing uh, arm that they have. And they do uh, primarily Christian living and devotionals. So if that is what you like to write, then you might want to consider uh, trying to get a 15-minute appointment with Don Anderson. Yeah, absolutely. Appointments are free. It's the, the other ones that you're paying for. Yes, yes, they, they are absolutely free and you're guaranteed uh, at least three. So um, uh, who's after Dawn? Sherry Cowell. Sherry, by the way, that Dawn is coming. She was kind of a last minute. We were hoping she could come. We were just kind of having to hold on and she can come. So we haven't seen Dawn in a few years. We're excited. It'll be great. All right, Sherry Cowell is next. Sherry, who has... A, EA books. She has EA books. She also has, she and her husband own uh, uh, tree, tree, what do you call tree them? House. Tree houses. Yes. Tree houses up in, uh, up in Tennessee. Yes. So, and you can rent and all that. How fun yes, is that? My dad was the architect for those. So what? I had no idea. It's yeah. a little so, trivia. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, EA books d- 
publishes everything really. So nonfiction, fiction, all the subgenres, poetry, devotionals, story collections, Bible studies, children's books, young adult drama. I mean, you name it. You, you, yeah, you name it. Yeah. yeah. They publish it. Yes. Yes. And right. they are, they are like a co-publisher. They publish with you. So right. uh, yes, exactly. And who's after Sherry? Uh, I'm got to oh. my button here. <laughs> oh, oh uh, Deb Dermond. Oh, Deb She's a Lifeway group, but she's also going to be helping out Deb Haggerty, who can't make it and is going to be representing Elk Lake. Yes. So, so she, and in fact, she, uh, is running the the contest for yes. the Lifeway group uh, that's already closed. Sorry, guys. Um, actually, I just wanted to tell you that Deb called me the other day and she's like, Eva, you got some good writers. So you go girls and guys, mm -hmm. you know, very, very proud of you. Uh, yeah. it, that's really, that's really something. It does my little heart proud. So yeah. So go in and look at, at what she is looking at. The Lifeway is, is looking for like magazine articles and things yeah. like that, I think. Am I right? Yes. And then, uh, yeah. And Elk then EA Books is looking, I mean, not EA Books. Elk Lake. Uh, Elk, Elk Lake is looking for a variety of things. Right. And they are particularly interested, and this ought to make um, you, you speculative writers happy. They are particularly interested in mystery suspense and speculative fiction. However, yes. they'll do anything, they publish in, yeah. there's another, uh, um, Co-publisher is that? No, right? they're no. Elk Lake is not. No. Oh, okay. So uh, Elk Lake is not. Um, to them. Yeah. yeah, they, they do are not. A traditional want, publisher. They do not want cozy Amish or okay. westerns. Okay. And uh, they're they rarely accept nonfiction. So take a look at the, their. Uh, and you'll find the Elk Lake information under Deb Dermont. Okay. Excellent. And, and we have uh, Catherine Devries. Yay! <laughs> we finally get Catherine back down here. Yes. Um, so I'm excited about her. Huh? Catherine's with Kriegel Publishing. Yes, she is. And she has been with them. Uh, she's been in Christian publishing for a really long time. So she long definitely time. knows her stuff. Yes, she does. Uh, and she's yes. a writer herself. So they they do fiction, nonfiction, children's, even academic. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, but again, be sure to go and study all of this. Study you know, don't just listen to us. Go in there and study. Make a plan. I, I, I'm going to talk about that later. Don't let me forget, Tara. And I want to talk about that plan. Okay. okay. So go All ahead. Right. Who's next? We're going to talk about the plan. Next yes. is Jesse. We are talking about this. Is it Floria or Floria? I think it's and Floria. I think it is Floria. Um, but he's a contest. family. <laughs> and he represents Clubhouse Junior and Clubhouse Magazines. Yes. Um, so again, if you write for kids. This is a wonderful um, publishing opportunity. Uh, I, I've written for a clubhouse before. Yeah, and, me too. Yeah. I, I mean, it, they are just so wonderful to work with. Sorry. And, so, and, and Jesse is. I mean, he's just he's just so laid back and so great. And, and he's yeah. so easy to talk to. I mean, don't, yeah, you're yeah. nervous about meeting with editors. Make an appointment don't with be. Jesse. They'll put you at ease. No, no. <laughs> I actually, you know, I don't know a single editor that we bring in that I would be nervous about seriously right. I mean they are they're just people yeah. they really are and they're all great people we we don't we don't bring hard nose snobs no in. we don't they're all super oh. nice <laughs> and they're looking for a lot of fun fiction rhyme non-rhyme you name it anything they can put in their magazines for the kids they are not looking for stories where parents or grandparents solve the problems aha uh -huh. Children have to think and wrestle and overcome their own conflicts, which if you write for children, that should go for absolutely any children's book you're right. writing. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it has We're to solve to grow them up. That's right. <laughs> so keep that in mind. If you have mom or dad helping the kids solve the problem, you might want to rewrite that before you take a, a an appointment with Jesse. But absolutely. Okay. Next. So who's next? That's Jesse. Next is John Herring with Iron Stream Media. Yay. John is returning. So excited. And yes. Iron Stream is looking for a variety of things as well, I believe. Um, she's looking. She's drawing closer to the camera. I, I will. Let's see. They they provide uh, short-term Bible study teaching plans as well as devotionals, Bibles, and discipl uh, discipleship curriculum. 
Um, that's what they're, he has not sent me a list apparently either. Okay. Well, I, and I do know that is their, um, that is their real house is yeah. Bible studies and, and Christian and living and that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. They, they, they do publish fiction and, and, and some other things as well. But but really, um, are you making notes like this? Is these are the ones that we need yeah, to get because on. yes, <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Um, so even up to like right before the conference, be sure to go back and study this uh, because we do want to have a comprehensive list for you as to what each one of the publishers are looking for or mm -hmm. are not looking for because there's nothing worse than wasting your 15 minute appointment because you have a children's book and you sit down with someone who doesn't published children's books. Yep. Yep. Next on our list is um, Jay Kent Holloway, and this is with Charade Media. And Someone you're very excited about I having. I'm excited about this because I, I, we're, I'm actually friends on Facebook with him, but I've never met him, but he, he does mysteries and I do mysteries. And so I always like reading a fellow mystery um, author, but he, this is actually the publishing house and they are um, looking for all crime fiction, not just cozies or traditional mysteries, but they're looking for um, detective fiction, noir, even procedural manuals, crime thrillers, all Ooh, of that stuff. Yeah. They, they don't make with it, you know, don't make it dark. They don't want to be depressed. They they still want it fun. Um, and with obviously with relatively clean content, they're you know PG thirteen. And yeah. up. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I don't good. know how that, that actually works. <laughs> um, Who knows anymore, quite frankly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, but again, this is all on um, this is all the information you'll find here is going to be under Holloway, Kent Holloway's information. So okay. All right. Who's after Mr. Kent? After Mr. Kent is Katie Kaufman with Lighthouse Bible Studies. Yes, double K's, double K's. I'm double six. Right. She's double K, yes. And she yes. is currently acquiring short Bible studies, Christian living articles, devotions, poetry, and short stories. Yes. And I'm telling you, if you've ever seen the Lighthouse Bible studies, that they, they have a they have an easing called Refresh. And it is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. It is so eye-pleasing. It draws you in. The 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 work that they publish is just beautiful. Um, so definitely look into what it is that Katie provides and what it is that they're looking for. It, it, it would be an awesome place to be published. Yep. Yep. For sure. For sure. It's going to be fantastic. She And we they come in almost every year or at least close to it. So yeah, every year to every other year. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. All right. Next is Karen Porter, or I should say it's Bold Vision Books, and we have Karen and George um, Porter who are going to be there. Yes, yeah. they are a team, and they've got um, a couple different, even imprints. They have something that I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Upstasia Books or Upstasia. No yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. an imprint just for pastors. It's books from pastors. Um, and that? Yeah, yeah. But they also want to see like YA fiction. Now they don't do fantasy. Right. But they are interested in romance and historical and in contemporary novels. So a whole bunch of stuff. So definitely check out the Bold Vision page. Yes, yes. Yeah. My my book that won the AWSA book of the year was published by Bold Vision Books, and they are delightful to work with. Yes, absolutely. Who Cindy else? Cindy Sproles is next. She's the co-founder of Christian Devotions Ministries, and she's also their executive um, editor of Christian Devotions, uh, which is and inspire inspire a fire. Which are inspire a fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? I've got a, I've got some devotionals devotions that are coming out in their online devotional coming out the first part of next year. I I just said, hey, let me. I actually cut my teeth writing devotions for an online devotional back in the day before, you know, I was really doing anything. It's like, I'm working on this novel, but let me just kind of, you know, sow some seeds and some oats and some whatever. And, uh, and so um, I thought, let me see if I've still got it, you know, let me, cause it, there is a formula to it. It's not as easy as you think it is. Um, and Cindy will, Cindy will explain to you all the things that you've got to have. It's something like, Hook, look, crook, duck. I don't know. <laughs> it's, all, <laughs> it's 
no rhymes. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, for sure. She's an excellent one. And so is Tina Yeager, who's actually yes. right, right behind her. And she is a similar thing. This is for Inspirations yes. Online. And she's looking for devotionals as well. So by all means, if you're a devotional writer, these are some wonderful outlets yes. Um, yes. that you can get your kind of publishing credits on. You so. do, you do. And, and and let me say this because so often these, and I've noticed this at other conferences and our conference, whatever, so often these are the editors that tend to get overlooked. People head straight for the book publishers. And just let me say this. I just, I just mentioned it. I cut my teeth on this. This is, this is how I got my name out there. While I was working on my first novel, I was doing things like writing book reviews and, and, you know, for the people who I hoped one day I would be just like them, you know, but I was writing book reviews. In fact, it was writing, uh, writing a book review that for Jerry Jenkins that put me in touch with him again. I had met him a, a couple of years earlier, but um, uh, put me in touch with him again. And I asked him about serving on his in his Christian Writers Guild and he put me to work and so that was another big step for me but it started because I was writing I would hello oh. <laughs> there's Mordecai joined by Mordecai yes 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 interrupted by Mordecai um because I was writing this and then also the, the reason that I got that gig was because I was writing these devotionals devotions on an online devotional and someone from Christian Retailing Magazine saw that she was she was reading those. And then she contacted me about the possibility of writing reviews for them. And so it was just like these little baby steps that I was taking while I was writing my first yeah. novel. And it keeps it's you in so, fresh. Don't discredit this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah I mean, it, 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 gets your, it gets your publishing feet wet. It gives you your byline. It gives you those credits and trust me, years from now, you're going to want to be able to say that you have published with this person and this person and this place and that place. And, and Mordecai's taking a bath right in the middle of my talk. <laughs> so maybe go over to the hey, Yeah. You're, you're on candid camera, Mordecai. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I, enough about that, but I, I really, really want to stress that. Okay. So I said, I was going to say something about something. What did I say? I was going to say something about. Well, we have one more person and then, and then um, Laura Zill. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more. That's right. I thought our, we're at the Y. Surely we're, we're at the Y's. I know. We have a Z, we have a Z this, year. this year. And for all of you who write poetry, you're going to want to definitely visit Laura Zill and make an appointment with her because she, she collect not collects, she publishes and acquires poetry. Yes. Yeah. She collects it. She acquires it. She collects it. And then she publishes she's it. it. Right. Yeah. yeah there you go. And Laura is another one of those people that's just so fun oh, to talk with. She's, she's a such a great gal. She truly is a great gal. So, okay. Um, yeah. For, and, and poetry is just becoming such a big thing. You know, we opened up Word Weavers uh, online groups and we said specifically, we we're going to start a, a poetry group. And we had such an uh, uh, amazing number of people who responded to that, that we opened up two. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Never mind the one we had to open up two. Okay. So what did I tell you to remind me to talk about? I said, don't let me forget. Taryn, this is your job. <laughs> Hold up. I felt it was, oh, oh, like studying and making and studying the faculty. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad you said that. Okay. So let me tell you another little story about when I first came into the industry. Um, I, I, did a massive study of, I was at a, not a writer's conference, but at a publishing convention. And in those days at the convention, and there was like, I don't know, I think that first year I went, there were 16,000 people there. It was massive, just absolutely massive. And, and uh, what I did though was because in those days, the editors were there and writers could make appointments with the editors while they were there. And so I studied every single publisher who was going to be at this massive convention. And I had it all written down exactly who they were, what they were looking for, what booth they were in, et cetera. And, and I had a plan and I wrote that plan down and I had it in a notebook, you know, something, something a lot like, you know, like, like one of these, just like, you oh, know, yeah. with the, yeah. and, and I had my book proposal 
within the sleeves. I, I made several copies, put them within the sleeves. And then if I met with someone, I handed them the book proposal. Now today they will, they will tell you, email it to me, you know, back in those days, it was, it was just completely different, but, um, but I would hand them the book proposal. We would go over it. We would talk about it. I would hand them my card. They would hand me their card. If they said, I want to see more of this, or please go away. I never want to see you again. I would <laughs> write that on the back of their card. And then I would stick it into the sleeve that the book proposal had come out of. So I always had organization to, you know, and, and I was putting it all together. I stopped at one particular booth and Kathy Collard Miller was at the booth and she is a longtime mentor of mine. Just saw her recently in Kentucky. It was so good to connect with her again. But I slipped behind one of the displays because I needed to do a little bit of rearranging in my notebook. And she peered over the display and she said, what do you have there? And I told her about my notebook. And the next thing I knew, this was in the class booth, which was Christian Leaders Author Speaker Services that was run by the Litowers. The next thing I knew every year at this convention, I was at the class, um, like pre-convention conference, teaching the notebook and how to put it together and how to be organized. And of course that has served me very well. So please do not come in and fly by the seat of your pants. You have right. paid a lot of money to be here. Our editors and agents and freelancers have given of their time to be here, to be at the conference. Yeah. And we have paid a lot of money to get them here. You know, we've got flights to pay and gas to pay and food to pay and rooms to pay and all that and stipends and, and all of that. So we want you to absolutely get the biggest bang for your buck. So to do right. that, please, please, Look yes. into what these different editors, agents, freelancers are looking for. They're talking about, et cetera. Yep. And, uh, and, and I'm telling you, squeeze that penny so hard that Lincoln goes out. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> right. And we have, um, I'm seeing if we still, it might be on Amazon. There is a word weaver, uh, Patricia Tiffany Morris. Yes. Who actually, you can buy this journal or this, yes. it's a conference planner online on, yes. go to Amazon, and I think she has one specifically for FCW. Yeah, she does. It, you can actually like, it can help you figure out or at least keep track of yes. who you want to see. So um, I definitely recommend you, you look into something like that. Don't just, you know, mm -hmm. fly by the seat of your pants on this. Absolutely. You've got, you've got to plan ahead on this. Know these people inside out, upside down. I think we do really, really well with making sure that the photos match the person. So, yes. so be yes. able to recognize them as well. Yeah. And just know that they are so approachable. That's why, that's why they're there. That's why they're here. You know, yeah. anyone who works a conference, um, you know, I do, et cetera. I mean, there are sometimes I might be a little grumpy, but, um, but, you know, for the most part, uh, so approachable. If you're walking back to your room and, and, you know, you happen to walk up on one of the editors, one of the agents, one of the freelancers, don't think you can't speak to them. In fact, some of the best appointments have come in times just like that. And of course you get to eat with them. And um, so that's yeah. always as well. And I, um, we can probably put the link to that journal in the video. Yes. I just sent it to you. So we will. Uh, yeah, just like look below because we'll have it Hello. down there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one last thing, and that is, you know, how to dress. Yes. Uh, because we do get that, you know, like, um, what should I expect? Now, when it comes to weather, expect anything. <laughs> so really, really, you're truly, you're just going to want to watch the Weather Channel to see what's going on. Um, sometimes in October, it's quite chilly. And sometimes it's still warm. Um, and I would say for the most part, business casual. Um, you know, I mean, you can wear a nice pair of jeans and a really nice top ladies and, and be just fine. Uh, Taryn yeah. does. Um, in fact, usually Taryn is in a pair of jeans and a t-shirt to be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. We do a lot of running around. So I do a lot of running around. That's, that's true. Um, and I got designated as the heavy lifter. So I have to lift a bunch of I don't stuff. Know. You know, I, uh, I got old and my, my back, you know, went out and. <laughs> went out and it never came back. So yeah. So yeah, I'm like, Taryn, come, come take this and tote this and whatever. But uh, no, just, you know, you remember this is a profession. 
So you want to look professional and you want to present your best. I don't think guys that you have to wear like a suit and a tie if you want to, if that's, if that's how you're comfortable, then by all means, you can certainly do that. But on another side to that, you know, is this, uh, this is a Baptist conference center. So uh, nothing suggestive. I'm also going to say nothing political. Let's leave politics out of this. Uh, we, we don't need a war right now. <laughs> We've got enough battles going on out there. Let's come into the Lake Hill Baptist Conference Center, which is so beautiful and serene and calming. And, and let's just leave the world behind and just forget that it's out there for yes. right now. Yes. And uh, so, you know, nothing political, please. Um, nothing suggestive on t-shirts or, or anything like that, or hats or anything like that. Of course, if you want to promote Jesus, we want you to promote Jesus. Um, but, uh, other than that, just, just remember, you know, so a little modesty goes a long way and, and a little professionalism goes a long way. So yeah. and comfortable shoes, I would say. Comfortable shoes. Yeah. Bring, bring a sweatshirt or a sweater or, or buy know, one, buy one. Yeah, you know, because you we've got our yeah, they're for sale. Remember, when you our, start, you can this you is can my buy writing shirt. Yeah, and remember, part of those funds go into the scholarship um bucket that yeah. we, we dip from and frequently hand out. So yeah, you're, yeah. you're supporting other writers when you get a sweatshirt. Uh, and if you don't want one, bring one. Uh, we have people who bring blankets with them every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to sell blankets actually. We used to sell <laughs> for blankets. a long time, we did. Wow. Yeah, because. Yeah, you know, when you've got a lot of people in, in a, you know, closed in spaces, it starts to get a little warm and uh, we want to keep the temperature cooler because actually that helps with the spreading of germs as well. Uh, so yeah, so some of you may say we're freezing you out. Others like me are still hot. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and, and, and on that note, please, no one, no one but Taryn or me touches the thermostats. So um, yeah, we had a uh, Someone, someone a couple of years ago, I don't even remember who it was now, but somebody, somebody decided that they were cold and they went and they turned the heat on. Yes. And let me say that that doesn't happen very often in Florida. And so what happened was all the dust. Yes. <laughs> it smelled like the room was on fire. It, it was not the building was on fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the, the, the heat is just never turned on or so rarely turned on in Florida. Um, yeah. so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, nobody but us. So we, maybe, maybe we'll put some little signs. Do not touch. Yeah. Do not <laughs> touch. Name is Eva or Darren. Okay. That's it for, for the, oh, well, okay. and then for Saturday night, feel free to dress it up all you want. Yeah. Yeah. A little bling. Yeah. A little bling. Oh, yeah. 